Welcome back to all of the students of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua the Christ. We are excited tonight to be back with you guys. Let's go straight into the word of the Lord. Um, I've got a major mind-blowing announcement. I have received, have received an up-to-date listing of celebrities and politicians and uh, banking officials, financiers all over the world who were connected to Jeffrey Epstein. I had reached out to Pastor Sam today uh, for a listing because I want uh, I wanted to cross reference what I had. Um, according to the list that Pastor Sam sent me. Um, and I got to tell you, it is mind-blowing. And I'm going to let you guys know up front that this series of Jeffrey Epstein, A Luciferian Project Completed, will be one of the most mind-blowing series that you will ever hear. Um, what I'm about to reveal to you is the connections of Black Hollywood to Jeffrey Epstein. And it's come to my attention, not only was Kobe Bryant's name on the flight manifest of the Lolita Express, the jet plane of one Jeffrey Epstein, but also Jamie Foxx's name is on that list. Um, my staff in New York City and my staff here in Los Angeles, and we've been working for the past 24 hours on this information. Jamie Foxx was targeted and Jamie Foxx was poisoned because of what he knew, not just about P. Diddy and P. Diddy's connection to Jeffrey Epstein, but also that P. Diddy uh, had slept with underage kids like Usher, like Nick Cannon, all documented, but also uh, Jamie Foxx was poisoned because of his connection to Jeffrey Epstein. So this is going to be at least a three-part series. Um, I thank God for my two contacts in the government whose names I will never reveal and divulge because, listen, I don't want to end up in a casket six feet under, so I'm not stupid. Um, the names, especially those in Black Hollywood, are on the flight manifest of the Lolita, Lolita Express, but you won't find it on the internet because it has come directly from my sources. I will send a condensed list to Pastor Sam and Pastor Colleen, okay? It's mind-blowing. Heavenly Father, send forth thy truth, for thy word is truth. And yes, you was holy name. Also, the students, please do not call the bishop. Do not text the bishop when I am preparing for Tuesday and Thursday's class. Some of you are hard-headed. You don't listen, okay? So uh, my staff said, Bishop, uh, you're going to have to start blocking people on your private phone. I don't want to do that. So please don't abuse my kindness, okay? Uh, unless you've been shot or someone, I hate to get that graphic, or someone from your family um, 
is in jail or was killed, that's something different. But please don't call me. Don't text me on Tuesday or Thursday. At times, the bishop will reach out to people like Pastor Sam um, for information, but please don't call me, okay? Please don't do that because some people don't care, okay? And so don't do that. All right, we're going to go, and I really need your prayers tonight. I know it's late there. It's about 9.48 p.m. there on the East Coast. And I will not be with you long, but um, God willing, on Tuesday, we're going to do a part two to this uh, series. So I need you to pray for me because I'm going to expose the one of the daughters um, of Jamie Foxx, whose name is Corinne, and she's lying through her teeth about her dad is out of the hospital playing pickleball. She's lying, okay? And I'm told that Eric Bishop's code name is Jamie Fox. okay? I invite your attention back to Paul's second letter to the Apostolic Church at Thessalonica, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. Then I need you to matriculate over to the key verse tonight is Ephesians 6 and 12. Okay? Thank you, Pastor Colleen. Three things I need you to have. Number one, I need you to have the greatest weapon in history, the gospel that Christ taught. If you don't have the physical King James Version, it is imperative that you have the electronic version. Uh, and right beside Pastor Hadessa's name, and also if the rest of the moderators all, thank you, Pastor Colleen and Pastor Hadessa, click on right now, King James Bible Online, King James Bible Online, because it is imperative that you follow along, because if you don't, you'll be blocked, okay? So let's concentrate on tonight's teaching. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have two to three pens and make sure, uh, number three, you have two to three notebooks. There you go, Pastor Colleen. Wonderful. So 2 Thessalonians, was your minds blown the other night? Was your minds blown the other night? Put up those faces if your minds were indeed blown. Okay. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. Hear ye the word of the Lord. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he, the devil, be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked not just Satan, but also the Antichrist, be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the word of God, and shall destroy with the brightness of his Christology, his anointing as the anointed one of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan or Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Drop down to verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. So those two terms, strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Notice these two words in verse 11, strong delusion. Strong delusion. Strong deception. 
Now to Paul's apostolic letter to the Ephesians. In the book of the Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12, which is the key verse tonight. For we wrestle, or our warfare is not against your fallen states of flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Not only is the deep state battling against the kingdom of God, but the deep state is warring against itself. The principalities are battling against their own powers. The powers are battling against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And if there are rulers of the darkness of this world, there are rulers of the darkness of this world. There are rulers of the darkness of, of the world against spiritual wickedness in high places or high bohemians. All right, now back to the uh, structure of the body of the text. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. Let's lay foundation concerning Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Again, Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The paradigm of Shakespearean tragedy Through the play, The Merchant of Venice, in 1596, Shakespeare declared, and I quote, Truth will come to light. Murder cannot be hid long. A man's son may, in the end, but truth will out. Please allow me to say that again because that's a powerful, powerful paradigm. Truth will come to light. Murder cannot be hid long. A man's son may, but at the length, truth will out. The composition of the paradigm of truth is not designed to be hidden. Its composition, the truth, will always eat away through the layers of the belly of deceit. Shakespeare's tragedy, based upon the history of the Roman Empire, that the Roman Empire was designed by a warlock by the name of John Dee. Empires are built by demons. So the Shakespearean tragedy concerning Angelo's measure for measure, it says we must not make a scarecrow of the law of the land, setting it up to fear the birds of prey and let it keep one shape till custom make it their perch and not the terror. Shakespeare said that 
when one abuses their greatness, they are limiting the structure of their life. When greatness is abused, not only is the individual limiting the structure of their life, but they are constricting the earth to become the world. Let's continue to lay historical foundation concerning Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. There are the three triplets of the gates of hell. The deception called reality, the deception called time, and the deception called probability. The deception of reality, esokinesis, E, the deception of time, chronokinesis, from whence you get the term chronology, C, and the deception called probability, tychokinesis, T, which is the acronym for etc. Now, I've already prayed for us, so over us, so anything I say, we're under the blood of Christ. So the term etc. also means what I found out today for my staff in New York. The term etc. is a Roman Empire code meaning gene kind or mankind. Etc. not only means the continuum of a sentence, but it means gene, G-E-N-E -E kind or mankind. As a side note, the term man and the term mankind are not synonymous. They're not the same. Man represents atom, mankind represents post-fall Adam. So when you say mankind, you're actually saying that 8 billion people are a kind of the original man. Mankind means that 8 billion people, because of the fall of the man Adam, has become a hybrid, has become human, a sea monster. Not you and I, because we're under the bullet of Christ, but the totality of the earth calls themselves human. My people are destroyed for what? The lack of knowledge. Please, let's continue to lay foundation concerning Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The triplets of hell, the deception called reality, time and probability. Satan is an illusionist. Can I take my time? Always remember that the concept of Satan's nature, he is an illusionist and he is a legalist. The first three letters of the term illusion, meaning that which is sick or ill. You see, reality is a sickness of the world that has infected the earth. 
Reality is an illusion. Time is an illusion. Probability is an illusion. Have you ever looked at a glass of water and when you put a straw in a glass of water, it gives the perception from the outside in that when that straw is partially submerged in that glass of water, that straw appears to be bent or damaged. But in the reality of the apostolic, the straw is not bent or damaged, but the straw is straight as ever. But the water's refractive index creates a distorted illusion that we call an optical illusion. When you take the straw out, it's straight. When you leave it in the glass of water, reality says it's butt broken, it's broken. But when you take it out of the water, exposed to the powerful elements of reality, it's straight. When a man wants to become a woman, that is called deception, a distortion. When a woman wants to become a man, that is deception, that's distortion. When a man wants to dress like a woman, he appears to be broken in the glass of reality, the matrix. That's what he is, but it's not who he is. He was designed and born to be a man. When a woman wants to dress like a man and she wants to become masculine, in the world of the matrix, she looks broken as a straw and a glass half full. But when the power of the apostolic removes her out of the glass of the water called reality, then the woman is a woman. Oh, Pastor, Pastor Ewing. You see, a man is who he is. A woman is who she is. You can cut it off or you can sew it on. Whether you cut it off, men, or whether you sew it on, sisters, the man is still a man. The woman is still a woman. You cannot make a pig a horse Neither can you take a cow to make it a zebra. God has designed the man to be the man, but he wants to be a broken straw. God has designed the woman to be a woman. She wants to become a broken straw. That's called an optical illusion. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The LGBTQ movement is of the serpent. Again, the LGBTQ movement is of the serpent. There is not one scripture in the word of God, that God made the man a woman and that God designed the woman to be a man. 
That's called an illusion, an optical illusion, strong delusion, which is a mirage. You have to be careful because many times you play with your kids and you tell your kids, okay, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest among them all? You see, you're invoking demons when you do that. You also have to be careful, parents. I know that you wanted a daughter, but you cannot dress Timmy in little pigtails, put a skirt on him, pierce his ears, his lips, and put some women's dress shoes on him. Now you're saying, well, Bishop, I'm teasing. When a parent dresses a little boy in the clothing of a little girl, it opens the door for the demonic. I know a lot of you parents wanted a son, but you're dressing Tammy as if she is a little boy. You said, Bishop, we're having fun. You have opened a door, a portal, thank you, thank you, positive, for the demonic to enter. And those demons in that little boy, in that little girl, will sit and maturate for years until the demon then activates its optical illusion. Let's continue to lay foundation. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Remember the Greek demon by the name of Hydra of Lerna, L-E-R-N-A. According to the writings of Aristotle, Plato and Socrates, the Hydra of Lerna is a cracking global system that if you cut off one head, two grows in its place. So the term Lerna means higher learning. So the Hydra of Lerna is a global serpentine system that, I'm going to say something that's radical. Years ago, Pastor Sam, the Holy Spirit said to me, in order to destroy the global system of this beast, the Illuminati, controlled by 13 families, you have to poison it with the apostolic. I said, wait a minute. Apostolic is not a poison. The Lord said, I'm not saying that it is, Bishop. To the saints, the apostolic is our medicine, our life. But to the enemy, Satan, the apostolic is poison. If you're going to poison the Medusa, thank you, Pastor Walker, you have to inject it with the teaching of the apostolic that we call apostolicity. What is healthy to the saints, the apostolic, is a poison to the body of darkness. We must do to the devil what he's been doing to us for thousands of years. Satan has sent wolves wearing sheep's clothing. Christ has sent me here to Hollywood with the clothing 
of a wolf, but inwardly I am an apostolic lamb. So you got to turn this around. So then the term hydra of Lerna means higher learning. The Russian Orthodox philosopher by the name of Dr. Fedor Dostoevsky, D-O-S-T-O-E-V-S-K-Y said that the addiction of mankind is actually destroying creation. The power of addiction is the addiction of power. Can I take my time tonight? Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. In the paintings, during the time of the Venetian uh, Renaissance in Italy, the Lord spoke to me concerning there are two laws of attraction. You had the true law of attraction, Yeshua the Christ, and you have a counterfeit law of attraction, the serpent. The Lord spoke to me this morning in prayer. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. That the law of attraction emanates from the field, not through matter. With, which gives a strong possibility that you will shorten the distance between the thought of what you want and the experience of having it. Please allow me to say this again. The Lord spoke to me this morning in prayer, Pastor Sippy and Pastor Colleen, and said that the law of attraction is the paradigm of creating from the field of the apostolic instead of the matter of an empire. The law of, the, of attraction is the strong possibility that you will shorten the distance between the thought of what you want and the experience of having it. When there is a supernatural match, I want you to hear me tonight. You see, uh, the devil is mad and I am hitting nerves tonight, okay? Listen, there is a battle between two laws of attraction, the law of the apostolic through holiness versus the counterfeit law of darkness, who is Satan. That you will shorten the distance between the thought of what you want in the experience of having it, when there is a supernatural match between the anointing that you have from Christ and that your future that you want to experience it. In other words, supernaturally, the supernaturality of God in you, you don't actually need to go anywhere. Pastor Sippy, pray for me. The Lord said that the supernaturality of him, Christ, in you, you don't actually need to go anywhere to get the blessing of the Lord. You actually draw the blessing to you. 
This is the synchronized paradigm of God's favor. In other words, when the bishop goes, I thank God for a second year in a row and I went to the Academy Awards and went to the Grammys and, you know, and the iHeart Music Awards. People come to me and want to take a picture with me. I'm talking celebrities. I'm talking writers and directors and people in television. I don't ask them. I don't know them personally. But because of the apostolic law of attraction in me, then Christ attracts these people to me. Oh, Pastor Tracy, listen. And it's an apostolic anointing. Christ is the only celebrity. That's right, freedom. But at the same time, there is a counterfeit against that. The demonic law of attraction. This is Jeffrey Epstein. You see, you got to be careful. Sometimes you can see a gifted man or woman. Let's say a man or a woman is a true prophet. And they're called as a prophet. But if they're not in alignment with Christ, then they will allow demons to overtake their gifting that they got from the Lord and demons will take that gift and operate through you because demons don't have giftings. Oh, Lord have mercy. Demons don't have giftings. So Lucifer, L, Satan, S, double D, that's your LSD. Satan does not give giftings. So he has to overtake your spirit. And Satan will not only overtake your spirit, but he will control your gifting to create a counterfeit law of attraction that instead of you creating from the apostolic field of favor, you're operating through the matter of your flesh that you are attracting the demons of the system. Do you understand? It is imperative that you as a vessel, that you are developing Christ. Allow me to say this too. This is wisdom. Pastors, you have to stop teaching your congregations that your gift must be developed. No. Pastor Sippy, the gifts and the callings of God that are without repentance, without repentance, which means the giftings don't need to be developed. Because if you say that the gift needs to be developed, then you're saying the gift giver needs to be developed. Oh, no. Christ is the giver of the gift. And since Christ is perfect, the gift is perfect but you're not perfect. So God will develop the carrier of the gift in order for the gift to operate through the vessel that's in alignment. Now I'm gonna give you some time to pick up your jaws from the floor. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. You see, this teaching is not for everyone. Pastor Sam, this is the reason why the Vatican Order took out a 45 degree angle of God's thinking or the 45 documents from the word. 
because Christ, Christ taught the power of apostolic self-actualization. What does that mean? When Christ taught the power of apostolic self-actualization, that you have the power to create wealth. Wealth is not the content of paper. Your currency is not contingent upon Wall Street, nor is it connected to the Federal Reserve. Your currency is how you flow in the spirit of Christ. Your currency, remember in the Old Testament, when the, in the Israelite came to the prophet Elisha, and the Israelite was full of fear because he lost the axe head from its handle. Now, in during the time of the Mosaic law, between Genesis and Deuteronomy, back to Genesis, if you borrowed something and didn't give it back, you were stoned to death. That's under the law now. So the prophet Elisha, the son of Shaphat, in the term Shaphat means sabbatical. That's another topic for another day. Elijah said, where fell it, or where did it fall? The man led the prophet to the brook called Kishon, and the prophet asked the man, point to the exact spot where the axe head fell in the water. He said, here. The word of the Lord said that the prophet Elisha took a branch which represents the cross of Mount Calvary and dropped it in the same location that the man lost the axe head, the same location where the axe head fell in the water. After Elijah dropped a prototype of Mount Calvary in the stream called Kishon, which represents life, the word of the Lord said, Pastor Sam, that the axe head swam backwards. Mm. You see, the apostolic currency does not operate clockwise from left to right. That is, from left to right, the currency of Gentile thinking. Why do we write from left to right? Why, Pastor Bird, I'm, I'm pointing at myself, why does the bishop once in a while put his left leg in his jeans or pants, pants and then put my right leg? Because we've been conditioned along with Bishop, to write from left to right, to think from left to right, to operate from left to right. The wheel in your car is on the left side. The passenger is on the right. The Torah is not written from left to right. The Torah is written from right to left. So God knows your end from your beginning. God establishes your end from your beginning. It is the end of the beginning and the beginning of your end. So writings from left to right. Why are you looking at my nose, Pastor Gary? That type of writing is called oculus or octation. It is a Greek 
Babylonian and Persian form of writing because in Papyrus, going back thousands of years, the paradigm of writing from left to right did not come from God. It came from witches. So witchcraft sentencing, witchcraft linguistics are not from right to left. They're actually from left to right. So the world occultically writes from left to right. But in the apostolic, it is the complete opposite. We don't write from left to right. We think and write from right to left. So the apostolic, here comes revelation, is counterclockwise. Mm. You see, the Protestant world of Christianity, they don't operate counterclockwise, they operate clockwise. Why does the clock operate clockwise from left to right? Because the clock is the symbol of the illusion called time. So Christ operated not from left to right, but from right to left through the counterclockwise of apostolic revelation. So Jeffrey Epstein was a Luciferian project completed. The Holy Spirit said, don't get ahead of me, Bishop. So the clock in Christ represents the fivefold. I'm getting to Jeffrey Epstein. See, people are so impatient. Many times they call our office in New York and they write us, well, why won't you get to the step of this? This class is not for you. To understand the understanding of what's happening now, you first have to have a foundational background in order to understand the foreground of why the Illuminati took out Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. So in the apostolic, the fivefold of Ephesians 4 and 11. So then the red center of a clock, the apostle, the long hand, listen, the prophet. The short hand, the pastor. The minute, the evangelist, and the second, the teacher. Wait a minute, let's go through this again. So the fulcrum of the cross, the fulcrum of a clock, apostolically, that is foundational. That's the apostleship. The long hand for the hour is the prophet. Short hand is the evangelist. The minute, the pastor. The second, the teacher. In the apostolic, if one of the offices is out of alignment, it throws the entire clock out of sequence. This is the reason why we have the Epsteins and the Bidens running this world because the apostolic church has men and women out of alignment. The apostle trying to be the prophet, the prophet trying to be an evangelist, an evangelist trying to be the pastor. And the first four is not able to do the fifth paradigm called the teacher. They're not able to teach. So if you're going to understand why there are Luciferian projects, the church of Christ must be brought back into alignment. Let's continue the lay foundation. 
Can I take my time tonight, Pastor Sam? See, the devil wants me to hurry, okay? Can I take my time? Listen. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Do you remember the bloodline of the Far East dynasty? Thank you, Pastor Sippy. The Far East dynasty, so the political dynasty of the Far East bloodline out of Rome, had not only produced Julia Farnese, who was a prostitute, who was the lover of Pope Alexander VI, whereas they had a daughter named Laura Farnese. You remember that, Pastor Sippy. Julia Farnese, with a G, had a daughter named Laura Farnese, Whereas we were taught a lie that Julia Farnese was Mary and that Laura Farnese was the baby Christ in paintings. That is a straight up lie. Da Vinci's Code of the Last Supper. That wasn't Christ, that was Julia Farnese deceiving the world as if she's Christ and right beside her was her daughter portraying John leaning the other way. So the Farnese palace in Rome had also produced a genetical generational painter by the name of Carisi. Capital C A W R A C I S, Carisi. Carisi had painted an artwork between 1584 and 85 called An Allegory of Truth and Time. In the Allegory of Truth and Time that you can look up on Google Images, by the artist named Carisi, that there is a winged figure who is rescuing a woman. The winged figure represents time. The woman, his daughter, represents truth. Truth, the woman the daughter of time has one of her feet, some paintings right foot, some, some paintings left. She has one of her feet on a ball that's called deception. An allegory of truth in time painted between 1584 and 1885 the canvas painting was by a descendant of Julia Farnese by the name of Annabelle Carisi. He was contracted by the Vatican to create an allegory of truth in time. The winged figure, time, his daughter, Truth, she has one of her feet crushing a ball. You remember that? Which comes from the French term bolos, B-O-U-L-O-S, which then becomes a Greek translation of the term boule. Here in the allegory of truth in time, the boule deception is trampled by the truth. Carisi's message is clear. Truth will always come to light. Murder 
and the raping of children will be exposed. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed, truth will out. Epstein operated in a hypnosis spirit called Thurgy. Do you remember that? T-H-E-U-R-G-Y, which comes from the Greek term hypnosis, H-E-N-O-S-I-S. Hypnosis, chronosis, the mixture of hypnosis and the deception of time. Do you remember the art painting term of Pimento or Pimento, P E N I M E N T O, covering up deception through the layers of new artwork on top of the previous artwork in order to hide deception. Here comes the bloodline. Are you ready to have your minds blown? Are you ready to have your minds blown? There are a lot of great teachers and great patriots that have written about Jeffrey Epstein. One of them is Whitney Webb that, God willing, we want to have her uh, on our radio show. What I'm going to teach you, Whitney Webb doesn't even know. And it's concerning the bloodline that would produce a child of Lucifer named Jeffrey Epstein. The Epstein bloodline goes back to 2,500 years. My staff, again, in New York City, for the past 24 hours, they've been calling me and we've had a, a Zoom call late last night after class. Past Mississippi, they say, are you sitting down, Bishop? We know you're tired, okay? This is late, late last night. The Epstein bloodline goes back to 555 BCE, before the common era of Christ. To a man by the name of Nabet, N-A-B-I-T, born in the pre-Ottoman Empire, of central Turkey, Nabet, which in Hebrew means Nadab, who later would become one of the four sons of Aaron, remember, was named Nadab in the bayou, Eliezer, and Ithamar. The bloodline of Nabet, coming out of central Turkey, not Mecca, Medina, or Saudi Arabia, would produce genetically a young man by the name of Muhammad. Whitney Webb doesn't even know. No one knows this but God. And through the research of my staff, had said that the bloodline of Jeffrey Epstein is not Hebrew, is not Jewish. It's Chaldean and Khazarian. Nebet, going back to 2,500 years, or 555 BCE, would genetically produce later a man by the name of Muhammad. To those students in the Middle East we have, 
Islam did not come from God. Do you remember that Islam was a creation of the Vatican? In 610 AD, the Vatican, under the rule of Pope Boniface IV, had commanded an Arabian nun by the name of Khadija, of Khadija in 595 AD to not only marry a young man, Muhammad, but to design a new religion called Islam so that the Vatican Church could have access to Jerusalem. The first wife of Muhammad, Khadija, had married Muhammad in 595 AD. 15 years later, Islam was created. You've been taught a lie, Muslims in the Middle East, that Muhammad got a revelation from a cave near Medina. That's a lie. That revelation came through Pope St. Boniface IV. And Pope St. Boniface IV had sent Bishop Lawrence, who was at the time in 610 AD, the Bishop of Canterbury in England. Bishop Lawrence was sent by the Vatican, by Pope St. Boniface IV. In 601 AD, the beginning of the seventh century, to travel to Arabia in order to recruit a young man by the name of Muhammad. Oh, my Lord. So Khadija was a Catholic nun sent by the Pope St. Boniface IV in 601 AD, the beginning of the 7th century, which was nine years before Islam was created by Pope St. Boniface IV in 610 AD. Bishop Lawrence traveled from Canterbury in England to Arabia and had given an instruction to Khadija to marry a gifted young scholar by the name of Muhammad. The term Mecca actually is not just a city, it's a bloodline through Nebet going back to 555 BC. Mecca is a bloodline going back to Nebet N-A-B-I-T, in 555 B.C. Remember the 1917 Balfour Declaration through Walter Balfour, an slave agent of, listen, of Walter Rothschild. The Balfour Declaration Establish two things. Number one, it established the future state of Israel that happened three years after the end of World War II. James Arthur Balfour, whose real name is Walter Balfour, was commanded by Sir Walter Rothschild of the Rothschild uh, British dynasty to recruit Domain Kazarians out of Turkey 
by bringing them from Central Turkey to Central Arabia and let's convert them to Islam. Thereby, we can put a puppet government in Arabia called Saudi Arabia. On the passport of Jeffrey Epstein, he had an Islamic name. That's why he was not just a CIA agent, not just a British MI6 agent, but Epstein, ladies and gentlemen, was an agent representing Saudi intelligence. Let me wipe some of the anointing off my glasses. Listen, I couldn't believe, I fell off of my chair when my staff revealed this. According to the Jerusalem Post, the Saudi royal family are descendants of crypto Kanzarians called the Domain Kanzarians that would eventually produce a bloodline called the Epsteins out of Lithuania. The Jerusalem Post, a Jewish newspaper, I didn't say it, they said it, that the Domain Kazarians were Crypto Kazarians. What is a Crypto Kazarian? Privately, they are Kabbalistic devils. I'm not, about to, I'm not talking about Jewish people, I'm talking about the Rothschilds. Privately, they are Kabbalistic devils. Sabbatean crypto devils, but publicly they're Muslim. The House of Saud was set up by the Rock Trials prior to the 1917. There you go, Pastor Sam. Bow for a declaration. I'm getting to Jeffrey Epstein. In order for the West to take over Arabian oil, by putting in a counterfeit Muslim group who are actually of the bloodline of Sabbatia Zevi, a false messiah, and of the bloodline of Jacob Frank, both of the 17th century. Muhammad bin Salman, is a direct descendant of not just Nebet, whose bloodline would produce Muhammad, but also of the bloodline of the Sabbatean Frankus cult. Sabbatean Zevi, a false messiah in the 17th century, and Jacob Frank, who said that he was the reincarnation of Zabatia Zevi, who lived from 1626 to 1676. Wait a minute. So the Epsteins, their original name is not Epstein. The original name of the Epsteins out of Lithuania, going back to the 1400s, is the Libowitz bloodline. Allow me to pronounce that. Capital L-E-J-B-O-W-I-C-Z. The Libowitz with the J silent bloodline out first out of Central Turkey, but migrated to Lithuania, then to Estonia, Germany and the Russian Federation. The Leibowitz bloodline had then changed their name to Urbanowski, which are called Epstein's today. I'm coming up to Jeffrey Epstein. The original name of Epstein, both out of Central Turkey and Lithuania, is Leibowitz with the J silent, 
L-E-J-B-O-W-I-C-Z, which is also the real last name of Jacob Joseph Frank. Jeffrey Epstein is a direct descendant of both the Sabantian bloodline out of Central Turkey and the Leibowitz bloodline out of Central Turkey who migrated to Lithuania, Estonia, Germany, and to the Russian Federation. Lord have mercy. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The Sabbatean Frankist cult are now called the House of Saul. Mohammed bin Salman was, is related to the late Jeffrey Epstein. The FBI confiscated more than 50 passports that this man Jeffrey Epstein had. The one passport that he used the most that was stamped most was the Saudi Arabian passport. On the passport, it said, Jacob Joseph Leibowitz. That's his name, it's not Jeffrey Epstein. Like Jamie Foxx is a code name for Eric Bishop. On my list, Eric Bishop, his name is on the Lolita Express. Well, who's Eric Bishop? Jamie Foxx. And so my staff back in New York triple check that. I'll come to Jamie Foxx later. Why would Jeffrey Epstein have a Saudi Arabian passport, whereas the other 49 passports had the name Jeffrey Epstein? Only the Saudi Arabian passport had Jacob Joseph Leibowitz. The same bloodline connected to the Sabatine Frankist dynasty through Jacob Joseph Frank, who claimed to be the reincarnation of the self-proclaimed false messiah, Sabatian Zebi. The Leibowitz, L-E-G-L-E-J-B-O-W-I-C-Z, had established a demonic practice called carpo creation. Carpo creation, C A R P O C R A T I A N. What is carpo creation? It is the purification of a child's body through transgression. Carpo creation is the purification of a child's body through transgression of transferring secretion, the secretion of an adult to a child's body. This is the bloodline that would produce Jeffrey Epstein. A Luciferian project completed. There was a sect out of Alexandria, Egypt, called the Carpocrates. The Carpocrates, C-A-R-P-O-C-R-A-T-E-S, where they taught Gnosticism. If you go to Wikipedia and type in on Wikipedia the term Gnosticism, on the right-hand side, 
and maybe up in the middle corner of the page under Gnosticism, it shows a hybrid demon. Half male, half female, snake with the tail in the form of a circle in the back, part serpent with fish legs. We call this cornucopia. All you pan-Africanists, the term pan means cornucopia, a two-horned demon. And there is a Latin phrase, a part of this demon, um, a carpocratian called Abraxas, and that Latin term is menesuic, awa, M-A-N-I, C-E-W, E-C-E-I-A-W. That is a Latin Vulgate word meaning Abraxas, which is a principality demon also named the Great Archon, A-R-C-H-O-N, and the Boule Seeker Society men are called Archons, and the women are called Archonists. Jeffrey Epstein was a major supporter of the Boule Sicker Society of your nine black fraternities in seniorities. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Also on Wikipedia, under both Abraxas and or Gnosticism, it will show a gemstone on the right side of the Wikipedia page, either on a Broxus page or Gnosticism. It shows a gemstone photo painting. The right gemstone shows the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So the Gnostic symbol half male, half female, snake, serpent with the tail and two legs of a snake and a fish is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is the central theme of the bloodline that would produce Jeffrey Epstein through the Sabbatean Frankist dynasty. I'm going to give you some time to pick up your jaws, your brain from the floor, because no one is teaching this concerning Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project complete. You better get people from Rumble and Gad or Gad, whatever you call it, in Telegram. All of them are ran by the CIA. Get them on the air tonight. The bloodline of Jeffrey Epstein goes back to Nabit, N-A-B-I-T, whose generations, centuries, would produce the Prophet Muhammad. The Leibowitz bloodline are the offsprings of Nabit and Muhammad. The Leibowitz bloodline then travels to Lithuania in 1502 through the Hala bloodline, H A L A, which were produced during the year of 1603, a man by the name of Mick. Hala, M I double K, Hala, H A double L A, born in Iraq, but migrated his family to Lithuania. The term Mick, M I double K, Hala, H A double L A, is an Arabic Iraqi term meaning pig's milk. So the term Mikhala means pig's milk. 
which would have through the bloodline of Nebet going back to 555 BCE, produce the Hala bloodline, which will also 20% of the Hala bloodline out of central Turkey, out of also the southern portion of Lithuania, will migrate to Vala, India. V double A L U India through Jacob with the K Hala. Hala, Mick Hala means pig's milk. Mick Hala II is also born in Vala, V double A L U India. And 30% of the Hala bloodline, they came through Nebet, Central Turkey, which would produce the Prophet Muhammad who would marry Khadija, who would create Islam in 610 AD, would migrate to Lithuania, to Estonia, to Germany, and to India. So you get 100% of a bloodline, they intermarry into Middle Eastern Gentile families in order to hide the crypto kanzarian blood. Turkey, Mongolia, and China. Hans Hollo, H A L A T O, Halata. They migrated his family from India back to Lithuania. 50% of the Halata. So we go from Hala to Halata, or Halato, H A L A T O, and change their name to the jury bloodline, J-U-R-R-I, which was a legalistic bloodline out of the central part of Lithuania, ladies and gentlemen, during the late 1600s, who then designed the legal term gerrymandering the manipulation of an electoral constitution of a particular constituency or house pet. Can I take my time? Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The jury, J-U-R-R-I, 40% migrated back to Estonia from Lithuania which would produce in 1701 the urban the urban ski family let's pronounce that the urban ski family capital u r b a n s k y this is where you get the term urban renewal urban ski in 1701 in the eastern part of Lithuania, who then were migrated to back to Turkey, were migrate to Mongolia and through the Han Dynasty in southern China. Centuries later, the Urbanski, the Urbanski bloodline, half of the bloodline in seven, in the year, listen, half of the bloodline of the urban ski bloodline would change their name in 1705 from urban ski to Alinsky. I'm going slow. The urban skis migrated to Estonia in 1704. And then the following year in 1705, changed their name from Urbanski to Alinsky and traveled and migrated to the Russian Federation. The genetical bloodline of the urban skis called Alinskis 
would produce a man by the name of Zev Alinsky, T-Z-V-I Alinsky, whose real name is Urbanski, whose real name is Jury, J-U-R-R-I, whose real name of Leibowitz back in Central Turkey. Change of their name again and again and again. Which would produce a son by the name of Benjamin Alinsky. Benjamin Alinsky attended Moscow University in 1885, met a woman there by the name of Sarah Tannebaum. The Christmas song that you've been taught to sing, Oh, Tannebaum, is not about Christ. It's actually a song created by the Bolsheviks during the Bolshevik Revolution. Another topic for another day. Benjamin Alinsky met Sarah Tannebaum in 1885, and both became married and were recruited by someone named Leon Trotsky, whose real name is Leon Bronstein. Bronstein is sent by Vladimir Lenin to New York City to pick up millions of dollars from Wall Street from Jacob Kuhn, listen, from Kuhn, Loeb and Company. Listen, Kuhn, Loeb and Company, Jacob Kuhn Schiff, thank you, Holy Spirit, Jacob Schiff, who would produce generationally Adam Shifty Schiff who still doesn't believe in the Durham report. Another topic for another day. Kuhn Loban Company, Wall Street, gave the Bolsheviks a $20 million check. And why? To take out Tsar Nicholas II and the Romanovs, who were followers of Yeshua the Christ. Leon Bronstein, Pastor Charity, had recruited Bolshevik killers, not only from the Lower East Side of New York City, but from the Bronx, in order to take a ship back to Moscow to train these killers, who then... Leon Bronstein or Trotsky had recruited a young couple. Benjamin Alinsky and Sarah Tannebaum to become Bolshevik killers. The Alinsky in 1920, Pastor Sue were sent to Chicago under the orders of Joseph Stalin, a Kazarian Georgian, Vladimir Lenin, a Russian Kazarian, Leon Trotsky, a Russian Kazarian. I'm not talking about Jewish people. I'm talking about one flame fame with the Rothschilds sent the Alinskys to Chicago in 1920 and contracted them to live on the south side of Chicago. Not to be around white people, but to recruit black people to become a part of the American Communist Party. The Alinskys 
would produce a son by the name of Saul David Alinsky. Born on January 30th, 1909. The Alinskys are the Urbanskys, who are the Juries, who are the Halatos, who are the Halas, who are the Lebowitz, change their name to Epstein. These devils, Pasisipi, are all related through incest. I'm not talking about Jewish people. I'm talking one family, the Rothschilds. The Lord wants me to go slow tonight. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Stay there in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7. Foundation now. Going back to 2,500 years, Nebet had Chaldean blood would produce gen genetically through the generations of Nebet, Muhammad, who was born during the year 571 AD. A woman by the name of Khadija was a Catholic nun in the nation of Arabia, recruited by the Vatican, by Pope St. Boniface IV, who then sent Bishop Lawrence, who was the Bishop of Canterbury in England, sent the Bishop to Arabia to give instructions to the nun Khadija to marry a young man who would create a counterfeit called Islam. You've been taught that the Kaaba, the black cube of Saturn, was created by Abraham. That is a lie. In the generations of Nebet, going back to 555 BCE, before the common era. There you go, Solar. The Lawrence of Arabia movie, you got to watch that, is actually a true story. They just changed the names, okay? And I can't remember the British actor who played Lawrence of Arabia. It's based upon a man by the name of the St. John bloodline. Listen. The St. John bloodline. How many of you have heard of the spy Kim Philby? Not to get away from Jeffrey Epstein. Kim Philby's father is based on Lawrence of Arabia. I believe St. John Philby. Thank you, Holy Spirit. St. John Philby, born in Badula, Sri Lanka, at the time was colonized by the British on April 3rd, 1885, and died in Beirut, Lebanon, in September 30th, 1960. St. John Philby, a British spy for MI6, Peter O'Toole. Thank you, Pastor Rob. Great actor. St. John Philby converted to Islam and was used by the Western powers of the Rockefellers in America, by the Rothschilds in Central, Eastern, Central, and Western Europe, by British MI6 to take over Arabian oil by bringing counterfeit Jews called crypto Kanzarians out of central Turkey, out of Mongolia, out of the Han Dynasty in southern China, 
and bring them to Mecca Medina to set them up as the house of Saul. So we, the American powers of the West and the British powers of the West can control Arabian oil. St. John Philby was the character played by Peter O'Toole. St. John Philby's son, Kim Philby, was a spy, a counter agent, working both for MI6 and the Soviet KGB. Another topic for another day. But you've been taught that the Kaaba, the Kaaba was built by Abraham. That was a lie. The term Kaaba is actually a name of a bloodline scholar through the generations of Nebet. The scholar was named the Kaaba, K-A-A-B-A, or Kaab, K-A apostrophe A-B, was the one who built the Kaaba after his name, but not built by Abraham. The Kaaba, or Kaab, K-A apostrophe A-B, was built in 335 AD, not by Abraham. He was long, Abraham was long dead thousands of years before. But in 335 AD, a man by the name of Cobb, K-A apostrophe A-B, built the Kaaba, putting 365 gods of stone representing each god or demon for each day of the year. He would then produce a grandson by the name of Iman. Now you've been taught that Iman's are Islamic cleric, but it's named after the grandson of Cobb named Iman. I am double A M. You've been lied to, to my Muslim brothers and sisters. Iman Mura, M U double R A H, who converted to a new religion called Islam, but Iman, I M double A M Mura, M U double R A H, was actually Catholic. The bloodline, again, goes back to Nebet in 555, 555 BCE. You've been taught that Islam came from God in a revelation in a cave up in the Hira Mountains, H-I-R-A, mountain, the Jabal and Nor, N O U R, section near Mecca. But that's not true. Khadija, the first wife of Muhammad, a descendant of Nabet, who with thousands of years produced the Leibowitz bloodline, and then eventually the Urbanskis and the Epstein. Khadija had married Muhammad under the orders of Pope St. Boniface IV in 595 AD. Listen, oh my Lord. And she had married Muhammad in 595 AD until her death in 619 AD, nine years after the creation of the Vatican entity called Islam. The Jesuit Seeker Society had also designed communism through Frederick Engels and Karl Marx. They were Jesuits. 
The Jesuit Secret Society was born in Paris, France. Listen, in the Jesuit Secret Society, though it was incorporated in Paris in 1540, but the doctrine of the Jesuits not only goes back to the serpent, but goes back to the scholar Nebet, who was a Chaldean scholar, but also knew the doctrine of the Jesuits years before the Jesuit secret society became incorporated in Paris in 1540 AD. Khadija bent, B-I-N-T, Kuwailid, K-H-U-W-A-Y-L-I-D, was a Catholic Arabian nun who oversaw an Arabian Catholic monastery on an island called Ansini, S-I-N-I-Y-A-H, which is off of the coast of Saudi Arabia. In other words, the <laughs> Islam is a farce. Getting back to the Alinskys, Sarah Tannebaum sent to Chicago. They were Bolshevik killers, but Jeffrey Epstein's four parents, going back to the 1700s, Going back, not just to the descendants of the Urbanskis, but going to the early 1900s with this couple, Benjamin Linsky, Sarah Tannebaum, wait a minute now, who would produce Saul Linsky in 1909 and would move to Chicago in 1920, three years after the beginning of the Bolshevik Revolution, which they took out the czar in the Romanov family. Jeffrey Epstein was related by blood to Bolshevik devils. Allow me to get a drink of water. <laughs> Listen, you're dealing with the synagogue of Satan. I'm not talking about Jewish people. I'm talking one family, Rothschilds, who had groomed Jeffrey Epstein as a Luciferian project completed. Is your minds blown tonight? Put up those faces if your minds are blown. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Leibowitz, Hollows, Halatos, Juries, Irving and Skis, Alinsky's, Epstein, all related through incest by blood. Out of Baghdad, Iraq, including being related to the Sassoon family, who are now still controlling the global drug trade. Remember the two opium wars in China, which has established the Jardine Mathis Incorporation out of Hong Kong. When you look on Google Images and type in the logo on the insignia of the Jardine Mathis Incorporation, it is the structure of a poppy, the heroin traffic. Now, Jeffrey Epstein. The Epstein bloodline, it is interesting. 5% of the Epstein bloodline, going back to the Hala bloodline out of central Lithuania, are related to the Hawk bloodline. Receipts, H-O-C-H. Remember the JFK teaching? The Hawk bloodline migrated out of central Turkey into Czechoslovakia 
a hundred years before World War I. The Hawk family, also part of the family, 90%, please write this down, 90% of the Hawk family who migrated to Czechoslovakia, okay, out of Transylvania, your Count Dracula and the Jack Draconian bloodline out of both Romania and Ukraine, 90% of the Hawk bloodline changed their name to Maxwell. There's no way I could have found, I thank God for my staff. They, uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> this is all they do, okay? Sister Lisa takes care of my speaking engagements. She's Jewish. She knows I'm not an anti-Semite. How, how can I be an anti-Semite when I am the Semite? The rest of my staff, they research. 90% of the Hawk family changed their name to Maxwell. The remaining 10% of the Hawk family changed their name to Oswald when they migrated to Germany prior to World War One. Ghislaine Maxwell's father, Sir Robert Maxwell, was assassinated by the Mossad in 1991. Listen, can I teach? Why was Sir Robert Maxwell, okay, taken out? Sir Robert Maxwell was a double agent both for British MI6 and including the CIA. Sir Robert Maxwell embezzled millions of dollars from his own multimedia empire. His daughter, Ghislaine Maxwell, was a part of the British hierarchy of the pedophilia system out of England. The Hawks related to the Oswalds, the, Ur the Urbanskis, the Sassoons, the Epsteins, the Juries, the Hollows, the Holotos, all the way going back not just to the Frankist Zabatian bloodlines of the Leibowitz, but going back to Nebet in 555 BCE, who would produce the father of Islam, a created religion called Islam. And that creator was not God, but Muhammad. Okay, listen. You, you have not heard of this before. The, listen, I'm going to say something. My beautiful Jewish brothers and sisters, you are Israelis, but you're not Israelites. There's a difference between, remember the state of Israel and the nation of Israel. The state of Israel is not of God. I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about the political structure called the Knesset, Masonically designed by the synagogue of Satan, not Jews, but the Rothschilds. Their eugenics of the Rothschilds continues to this day. See, when I talk like this, oh, Bishop is an anti-Semite. Stop. The state of Israel is not abroad. At three years after World War II, the Western powers drove out those black Palestinians and put a fabricated house in its place, not the people, the political structure called Zionism. Zionism is not of Christ. 
Mount Zion is the apostolic church, but Zionism, this is how demons do. They'll take a biblical content word like Mount Zion and add the deep state ism to it to make it look like, through optical illusion, Zionism. Theodore Hertz, Rothschild, Balfour Declaration, let's take a fabricated house built in Turkey, built in Mongolia, built in China, move it to Palestine, and let's call them Jews. I'm not talking about the precious Jewish. I'm, I'm talking the political structure. I'm not, listen, 99.9.9% .9 of the Jewish people are absolutely beautiful people who hate the Rothschilds. I'm talking about the Rothschilds and the Rothschilds only are the synagogue of Satan. And I'm going to push these demons into hell as fast as I can. Here comes David Epstein, 1810 in the Russian Federation, Meyer Epstein, who would produce Julius Epstein, and Seymour Epstein, who would marry Paula Nee Stolovinsky, who was his second cousin. Stolovsky, S-T-O-L-O-F-S-K-Y, Stolovsky, the second cousin of her husband, Seymour Epstein, that would produce on the 20th of January, 1953, a son by the name of Jeffrey Edward Epstein. This is bloodline receipts. You cannot follow the money unless you first follow the bloodline that would take you to the family, that would take you to the money. Jeffrey Edward Epstein is also a blood descendant of Arnold Rothstein. Pastor Sam and all of the brothers and sisters, do you remember, was it the HBO series Boardwalk? I think it was on HBO. And how Ronald Rothstein, Arnold Rothstein rigged the World Series in the 1900s. The Epstein family are related to the late are not lost. These are devils, man, that you're dealing with. Jeffrey Edward Epstein, born in Brooklyn, New York, January 20th, 1953. Now, if you're tired, I can stop. You'll have to wait till next Tuesday. Can I keep teaching or do you say, Bishop, uh, just wrap it up or you won't have to wait till next week, okay? Let me get a drink of water. <laughs> Listen, this teaching concerning bloodlines of Epstein, no one's teaching this. A dentist chair can be made worse. <laughs> Listen, thank you, Apostle Ty Kim, Apostle Carlotta Kim. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project complete it. Now the body of the text, after one hour, 54 minutes and three seconds, second Thessalonians 2 and 7, for the mystery of iniquity or doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he, Satan, be taken out of the way, including the Antichrist, will be exposed and destroyed. Jeffrey Edward Epstein did not hang himself. He did not hang himself. The day before the body of Jeffrey Epstein was found, Pastor Sam, he got a visit to his jail cell in Manhattan 
by a man, listen, by the name of William Burns. The night before, supposedly, Jeffrey Epstein hung himself, William Burns met Jeffrey Epstein in his cell. Who is William Burns? William Burns, ladies and gentlemen, is the director of the Central Intelligence Agency. Like Pastor Sippy says, come here. <laughs> William Burns, who met Epstein in his jail cell the night before supposedly Epstein hung himself, was visited by the director of the CIA, chosen by Joe Biden, William Burns, who testified before a House Intelligence Committee in March of this year that he met with Jeffrey Epstein multiple times. You'll find this in the National Review. You'll find it not just on the National Review, but th listen, it's receipt. Why would, pa listen, Pastor Jody Bird, why would the director of the CIA meet Jeffrey Epstein the night before Epstein hung himself? Director Burns of the CIA had said that he met Jeffrey Epstein not just multiple times, his name, William Burns, is on the Lolita Express flight logs. Kobe Bryant's name, Joy Behar, who I'm going to expose Monday, if they don't cancel it before I go into view, I'm going, oh yes, Joy Behar's name. <laughs> okay, the Holy Spirit said, don't get ahead of me, Bishop. Jeffrey Epstein was a CIA asset, a Mossad asset, and a Saudi Arabian intelligence agent who skipped the third grade of third grade of PS 188 and skipped from the third grade to the eighth grade. Why? when he was a student at the Mark Twain Junior High School in New York. And at the age of 16, skipping the third grade, going to the eighth grade, and skipping the eighth grade, going to the 12th grade, Pastor Sippy, Pastor Lucy, this devil graduated at the age of 16. My sources said in the government that Jeffrey Epstein was a Manchurian candidate. You're not going to find this on the internet. Epstein was a Manchurian candidate, a part of the special activity section of the CIA, representing the Mossad and representing later Saudi intelligence. In 1974, at the age of 21, no degree, no law degree, no financial degree, he dropped out of college his sophomore year and drove a taxi. Jeffrey Epstein was hired by the father of the former Attorney General of the United States, William Barr. His father, Donald Barr, had hired Jeffrey Epstein when Epstein was 21 in 1974 to be a teacher at 
one of the most prestigious schools, not just here, not just in New York City, but in the United States, the Dalton School on Manhattan's Upper West Side. How is it that a man has no degree, gets a prestigious teaching position at the world-renowned Dalton School where there's a lot of little girls? Donald Barr was a pedophile. I, Donald Barr was a pedophile who hired, who had hired Jeffrey Epstein in 1974 to be a teacher at the world renowned Dalton School. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. One of the students of Jeffrey Epstein was a young kid named Robert Redford. Joe Gray and many other kids who will later become financial billionaires, a part of the wealthy banking firms in New York City. You see, Jeffrey Epstein was a Luciferian project completed. After teaching at the Dalton School, being hired by the headmaster, the principal of the Dalton School, Donna Barr, who is the father of the former attorney general of the United States, William Barr, Alan Greenspan, the former head of the Federal Reserve System hires Jeffrey Epstein to be a stock trader at Bear Stearns. <laughs> no degree now. Greenspan said concerning the intelligence of this Delaware Epstein, or oh, he's great at math. Okay. He dropped out of college, has no degree, but yet he gets a job not just at the Dalton School in New York, but also gets a job as a stock trader at Bear Stearns, hired by the future head of the Federal Reserve System, Alan Greenspan. Greenspan has a relative, a young man, by the name of Moshi Greenspan, who is a member not just of Church X, which is a facial recognition rec a facial recognition software company out of Vegas that gives facial recognition software to churches in order to track who's coming in the bill. Wait, Moshi Greenspan is also a part of Mossad. Alan Greenspan is in the late Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein left Bear Stearns and created in the mid eighties, the J Epstein company, a financial trust, a financial trust company where Epstein was the family financial advisor of the super rich of New York City. It gets deeper. Again, the bloodline of the Epsteins, urban skis out of Lithuania, related to the Hawks, related to the Oswalds, the a man by the name of Jerome Urbinski, who designed and coined the term urban renewal, came through the Russian Federation as a part of the Eurasian migration out of Lithuania. A book by Soren Urbinski called Beyond the Steep, S-T-E-P-P-E, -P -P -E, Beyond the Steep Frontier, 
a history of the Sino-Russian border. Whereas the term urban planning came from the Urbanski bloodline that would change their name to Epstein. The Bolshevik Revolution started on March, during the month of March 1917, and supposedly ended in June 1923. The Bolsheviks would produce the Alenskys, the Epsteins, the Tannabombs, Rothschilds. These are devils. I'm not talking about Jewish people. I'm talking one family, the Rothschilds. Jeffrey Epstein, a, Luc a Luciferian project completed. Again, Jeffrey Epstein, his family goes back to 555 BCE before the common era of Christ through a man by the name of Nabit, N-A-B-I-T, which in Hebrew is Nadab. originated out of central Turkey, but would migrate to Baghdad, Iraq, which would become the dynasty called the Abbasid dynasty. It gets deeper. The Abbasid dynasty, capital A-double-B-A-S-I-D, dynasty where they designed the Islamic political law called the Caliphate. This is Epstein's bloodline. In 762 AD, the Abbasid dynasty created the term the Caliphate, where they would dominate the world through blood and through destruction called war. The Abbasid dynasty created by Abbas Abin, A-I-B-N, Abdal, Motilib, M-U-T-T-A-L-I-B, who would design the third caliphate to succeed the prophet Muhammad, who was recruited by his wife, Khadija, who was a Catholic nun representing the Vatican system in 595 AD through the Vatican instructions from Pope St. Boniface IV, sent Bishop Lawrence from Canterbury, England to Arabia to recruit Muhammad by creating Islam so that the Vatican can have a global military industrial complex to have access to Jerusalem. So Muhammad and Khadija was an arranged marriage established by Rome. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11, strong delusion. The Vatican created the religion of Islam in order to capture the city of Jerusalem. Your secret societies came out of the Vatican, including the Knights Templar who would produce genetically through bloodlines the Epstein family out of Lithuania. Elon Musk is set to testify in court because the name Elon Musk is on the flight manifest of the Lolita Express. Kobe Bryant's name is on the flight manifest of the Lunita Express. Jamie Foxx, who met Jeffrey Epstein, 
in February 2000 at a party in New Mexico on the New Mexico ranch of Jeffrey Epstein. And the reason why Jamie Foxx was poisoned, he was exposing P. Diddy. See, P. Diddy used to have these naked basketball games. What is a naked basketball game? In other words, P. Diddy, Morris Chestnut, Will Smith, Usher, Black Hollywood would play basketball against each other completely naked. There was a game called the Frosted Flakes game where they would pour Frosted Flakes on the court or inside of the house on the floor and two men butt naked would be eating the Frosted Flakes off of the floor. Nick Cannon slept with P. Diddy when Nick Cannon was 13. Usher slept with P. Diddy when Usher was 13. The 13 families, the 13, first 13 degrees of the global Masonic Scottish Rite Porter. 50 Cent is exposing P. Diddy. P. Diddy wrote a book called The Adrenal, Adrenal Chrome Witch. I have a PDF copy. Three summers ago, P. Diddy wrote this book, and then all of a sudden, Barnes & Noble takes it down. The document called The Adrenal Chrome Witch, why did P. Diddy write this book? Because he was upset with Sony Records and Sony Music because Clyde Davis owed him money. Clyde Davis had Whitney Houston killed. Let Come closer. Clyde Davis had Whitney Houston killed. Her autopsy, they said, well, she committed suicide, but oh, that's a lie. She didn't OD. She was in a bathtub. In the Beverly Hills Hotel, the same hotel, California, you can check out at any time, but you can never leave. The same hotel, California jacket cover album that has all these people in the courtyard of the Beverly Hills Hotel, but Anton LaVey is looking from a window in the back of a building, in the back of them in a building, P. Diddy, Clyde Davis sleeps together. That's why they targeted Jamie Foxx. And Jamie Foxx was exposing P. Diddy having these $2 million parties. Who is on this list? Here is a up-to-date list. Do you know Andrew McCabe, mm, mm, mm. the former assistant director of the FBI who tried to set up Trump? His name is on the Lolita Express. Barack Obama, Michael Obama, Bill Gates, Melinda Gates, Mike Pence. You didn't know that. Anthony Fauci. Okay. John Brennan. <laughs> former director of the CIA, okay? George H.W. Bush during the 90s, George W. Bush in the early 2000s, Laura Bush, Jeb Bush, Dick Cheney, James Baker, James Clown. Listen, this is an up-to-date list of those names that were not only on the flight manifest of the Lolita Express, whose names that I cross-reference to the names that Pastor Sam sent me, but also are in the black book of one Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, James Comey, Diane Feinstein, okay, Eric Holder, John Kerry, Loretta Lynch, who made that deal with Bill Clinton not to prosecute his wife, Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, Tony Podesta, Samantha Pop. Listen, 
the, their names are on the Lolita Express going back to the 80s all the way up two years before the arrest of, <laughs> of Jeffrey Epstein, Susan Rice, Donald Rumsfeld. Do you understand how wicked these people are? Joy Behar's name is on the flight manifest. That stinking demon. Tom Hanks. Listen to me. <laughs> okay, Adam Schiff. Adam Schiff. Oh, my Lord. He's a board member of Little Kids. K-I-D-Z-E. Look it up where they specialize in pediatric massage. You no, know it's pedophilia. This is the same devil, Adam Schiff, who wants to destroy our president, President Donald J. Trump. Adam Schiff, who's not just a board member of Little Kids, also knew Jeffrey Epstein. Marvin Minsky, officials from Harvard University. Oh, this is receipts, Pastor Bridget. Will Smith, Janet Pinkett Smith, Maxine Waters, George Soros, Sally Yates, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> Listen. God took her out. Okay, let me. I gotta be careful because I don't want to be taken down. Okay, updated list on the Lolita Express. Peter Peter Schrock, the one who lied on President Trump. Peter Schrock was a former FBI employee. Guess who else was on the Lolita Express? But taken the Gitmo. Remember your Congressman Elijah Cummings. Oh, they took him out. See, people think, well, oh, these people, okay, who represent Trump, the are No, no. This is receipts. Now, when this thing comes out of the hospital and you're thinking, okay, it's Jamie Foxx, but it's not Eric Bishop. It's a clone. So... Corrine, one of the daughters of Eric Bishop, she's lying. When she says, well, my dad is up playing pickleball, she's lying. Kathy Griffin is on that list. Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson. <laughs> See, Trump wasn't playing, man. What, what, listen, Operation Warp Speed is that. Not for the acceleration of the snake juice. Operation Ward Speed was a global plan by the Trump administration to take these devils out. <laughs> Beyonce too, Gay Z. Oh, Lord. These are clones. Listen, I had a known publicist. I'm not going to say his name. A known publicist, a known publicist tell me at the iHeart Music Awards. He said, Bishop, <laughs> let me blow my nose. Listen, I'm so sorry, forgive me. When I went to the iHeart Music Awards, Pastor Jill, he told me almost 50%, not all, almost 50% of these women in Hollywood are, are actually men. <laughs> the transvestites, man. Come on, somebody. You're thinking Jennifer Anderson, that's a man. <laughs> Megan Fox, the piece, I couldn't believe. He said, Bishop, 50% hip hop crime syndicate, okay? 50% of these so called female celebrities, not all, have or actually men. Your Anderson Cooper 360. <laughs> okay, Madonna, Lady Gaga, 
updated flight manifest on the Lolita Express. Over Winfrey, who wears this maroon ring, the same ring that's a part of the underground pedophilia network, Meg the Stallion too, Pastor Gary. The maroon ring looks reddish maroon, a dark brown color. What's his name? General Saladin. I believe he got taken out by a drone. Trump took him out. They found his hand with that ring on his hand. This is a part of the global underground pedophilia network. Why do you think that the good hope mercy, these ships were coming to Central Park? Come on, somebody. In New York City. They I know. Pastor Renee, Pastor said they set up tents all throughout Central Park. And you know why? They were bringing children, and I saw it. I live in the Upper West Side of New York, okay? One of our ministry drivers says, hey, take me down to Central Park. They had the military. <laughs> Trump wasn't playing. Taking out children. Children die when the sun hit them. Oh, Lord Jesus. Some children's heads came off because they were underground for so long. It was sick, and some of the military generals couldn't take it. This is what the Clintons and these devils on the left have done. The good hope mercy out here in Los Angeles? Oh, they were bringing medical supplies. No, they were coming to rescue, to rescue children. Now you got a devil, a governor. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. It's flooding the tunnels, Pastor Dave and Pastor Craig, with water. See, this, these, and why do you think the Elon Musk turned his company Twitter over to a woman who worked for it, NBC Universal, who was also connected to the World Economic Forum because Elon Musk is in trouble because of his connection to Jeffrey Epstein. Ellen DeGeneres is on that list. She helped take out Twitch, Steven Spielberg, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. Okay? You will not believe me when I'm about to say, <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Listen, listen. I want you to listen. When Jeffrey Epstein first bought St. James Island, St. James Island was originally owned by a venture capital corporation called the Edge Foundation. Can I take my time to <laughs> listen? Now, you may be wondering, Bishop, what is the Edge Foundation? It's a multi-billionaire club. So St. James Island was owned by them going back to the early 80s. They sold it to Jeffrey Epstein for $68 million. Who rebought the island the Edge Foundation. You won't see this on the Crap News Network. Elon Musk tweeted a tweet, put out a tweet exposing George Soros, calling, calling Soros a magneto. What is a magneto? It is a Marvel comic character representing a man or a character that deceived his people during the Holocaust. Let me take my time here, listen. 
Musk, Elon Musk hired a brand new CEO by the name of Linda Yaccarino. Now, remember her name, Linda Yaccarino, capital Y-A-C-C-A-R-I-N-O. She was hired to succeed Musk as the CEO of Twitter. Why? Because Musk is in trouble because of his connection to Jeffrey Epstein. Linda Yaccarino, who is now the CEO of Twitter, thank you, Pastor Ellis, was the chairman of Global Advertising in partnership for NBC with deep ties to advertising agencies to the former Turner Corporation and also sits on the board, okay, of the Black Rock Corporation. Wait a minute now. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, JR, Edge Foundation does have a connection to the with the Edge browser. I'll bring that up later on. Linda Yaccarino, why would, let me get my app, I saw a gangster link, why would a so-called patriot like Musk hire someone connected to the Black Rock Corporation with Larry Fink who had poisoned East Palestine. She's also a member of the World Economic Forum. And she has millions of dollars worth of crypto in the crypto bear market. Type in this link. This is receipts. We Forum, F O R U M, weforum.org slash people slash Linda dash Yaccarino, Y A double C A R I N O. She's on the website of the World Economic Forum. These devils are not hiding their corruption. The communist liberal scholar by the name of Dr. Noam Chomsky, his name is on, not just in Epstein's black book, Noam Chomsky was given $150,000 by Jeffrey Epstein. Why? Bill and Melinda Robin Williams Gates, I'm sorry, sat on many boards, especially with the Light Boat Foundation. Here we go. The Light Boat Foundation, which was created by Eric Klein with Jeffrey Epstein money. Jeff Bezos, the Obamas, the Clintons, okay? Jeffrey Morgan Stiebel, Kobe Bryant's former business partner, was a board member of the Light Bulb Foundation who knew Jeffrey Epstein and Kobe Bryant knew Jeffrey Epstein. It gets deeper. Kobe Bryant and all of these Luciferian projects completed are a part of Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. This is crazy, Pastor Sandra. Okay? Also, Epstein moved $270,000 for Noam Chomsky. And Noam Chomsky borrowed $150,000 from Jeffrey Epstein in order to pay Leon Botstein. B-O-T-S-T-E-I-N. Who is Leon 
Boston connected to the National Basketball Association. The ex-Prime Minister, it gets deeper, of Israel, Ehud Barak. His name is on the flight manifest of the Lolita Express. Ehud Barak, also a Mossad agent, the Mossad was hired by Harvey Weinstein in order to destroy the women who were accusing Weinstein of raping them, the casting couch. Another name on the flight manifest also in Epstein's Black Book is a man by the name of Leslie Wexner. <laughs> oh my God. Of the Wexner Foundation, the creator of the L Brands in the clothing conglomerate, The Limited. The book by one of the most powerful Jewish authors on earth, Dr. Ronan Bergman, his book, Rise and Kill First, The Secret History of Israel's Targeted Assassinations. By Jewish author, Ronan Bergman, he said that the state of Israel, not the nation, the state of Israel has killed more people than any other country in the Western Hemisphere since the end of World War II. In the book, The Secret History of Israel's Targeted Assassinations, Rise and Kill First, targets are contracted sometimes years in advance. There are betting games through the Mossad, through the 13 famous, where they have betting parties. When is Kobe going to die? When is Chad McBoseman? Oh, these are sick people. These are demons, man. Do you remember, okay, Arafat, the leader of the Palestinian Liberation Army, he was poisoned by the Mossad because he was exposing the Mossad as an organization of pedophiles. Remember Menachem Begin, former prime minister of Israel, told the Mossad to stand down as a promise to the CIA not to harm the director of the Palestinian Liberation Army, Arafat. Wait a minute now. Arafat was blackmailing the Mossad because he wanted a two-state solution here. Who? Yasser Arafat wanted a two-state solution the state of Israel to be partly owned by the Palestinians, the other part by the Israelis. These are psychopaths that you're dealing with. So they poisoned Yasser Arafat in 2004 because he knew about the pedophilia network of the Mossad. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Former Prime Minister of Israel, Ariel Sharon, was good friends with the father of Jeffrey Epstein, Seymour George Epstein, who was a Mossad agent himself, stationed in Brooklyn, New York. He didn't know that. Yizak Rabin, remember him, the former Prime Minister of Israel? He was the fifth prime minister of the state of Israel who was assassinated on the 4th of November, 1995 at the end of a rally in the support of the Oslo Accords 
for a two-state solution. He was taken out at a rally at the King Square in Tel Aviv, assassinated by a Mossad killer by the name of Yigal Amur, Y-I-G-A-L, Amur, A-M-I-R who oppose Yizak Rabin's Oslo Accord stance in providing a two-state solution, giving part of the state of Israel to the Palestinians. For the past 70 years, the Israeli Mossad has carried out more than 2,000 700 kill operations around the world. If you think the CIA is vicious, the Mossad is more vicious. It gets deeper. A foundation called the Gratitude of America or Gratitude America and the International Peace Institute are New York think tanks created by Jeffrey Epstein money with the face of these foundations, Gratitude of America, the International Peace Institute, the face of these foundations with Epstein money is a Norwegian diplomat by the name of Torji Rod Larsen, L-A-R-S-E-N, who is a major, major supporter, come closer, of a corporation called NAMBLA, the Man Boy Club of New York. Guess who else is a major financial supporter of NAMBLA? Nancy Pelosi. Guess who else is supporter of NAMLA, the main boy club in New York City? Adam Shifty Shift. These are demons. That's why they hate President Trump, because he's exposed. People said, oh, Trump's name was on the flight manifest. It was not. Well, Bishop, President Trump met Epstein at a party. So what? President Trump's name was never on the flight manifest that was a lie, okay? See, this is what these demons are trying to do. They will cover up the crimes of the Clintonistas in order to lie about the president. The Jeffrey Epstein Virgin Islands Corporation was a private foundation established in 2000 by Jeffrey Epstein, Prince Andrew, Harvard Law Professor, the attorney Alan Dershowitz. His name was on the flight manifest. Here is a theatrical secret society at Harvard, which is not known to mainstream media is called the Harvard Pudding Institute. <laughs> the Harvard, not putty, pudding. P-U-D-D-I-N-G, Pudding Institute, established in 1770. Epstein was among its top financial donors going back to 2018 under the category of the Guardians of the Sphinx. MIT professor Dr. Marvin Minsky, a known pedophile, was on the Lolita Express. A conference back in 2012 was sponsored by the Epstein Foundation called the Global Doomsday Conference. Epstein's former charity, the COUQ Foundation, donated $25,000 to the Clinton Global Initiative. And guess who else was on the Clinton Global Initiative Haiti Fund? Kobe Bean Bryant. 
The Gratitude America Limited was formed in the Virgin Islands and uh, donated to MIT and to the Kuhn, K-U-H-N Foundation, led by Dr. Robert Lawrence Kuhn, who is a blood descendant of Kuhn Loeb and Company in Wall Street that supported the destruction of the Romanovs during the 1917 Bolshevik Revolution. See, Kobe was in too deep, Pastor Sam. This is what happens when you don't have Christ. Oh, he went to the Catholic. Stop. He didn't have Christ. He didn't have the Holy Spirit, which means Kobe Bryant did not have discernment. In my conclusion, Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The HBRK Associates Corporation in New York State led by Larry Summers, a former Clinton and Obama administration treasury agent. Larry Summers' name is on the flight manifest of the Lulita Express. Larry Summers directed Epstein's program for the mathematical biology and evolutionary dynamics at Harvard University in conjunction with the Hastings Pudding Club theatricals. <laughs> it's, it's fronts for pedophilia. The Hasty Pudding Club is the oldest theatrical organization in the United States representing the Hollywood elite. In my conclusion, Woody Allen on the flight manifest. King Charles is on the flight manifest. Let me say this again. King Charles, not just Andrew, Charles, who had Lady Diana taken out, another topic for another day, was on the flight manifest. And so was Valerie Jarrett, whose grandmother, Dorothy, Taylor wrote the Negro Project in 1913 for the extermination of black children through abortion. Prince was on that plane too, okay? This is the reason why they took these people out. Pastor Sam, there is a photo of Jeffrey Epstein and Gillian Maxwell at this log cabin that's owned, that was owned by the late Queen Elizabeth. And Queen Elizabeth is sitting at that same seat at this log cabin. J Jeffrey Epstein knew Queen Elizabeth and Queen Elizabeth knew Jeffrey. E See, it's facts, Pastor Sam, okay? Prince Philip. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Is on the flight manifest of the Lolita, Lolita Express going back to 2001. Justin Trudeau is on the flight manifest. Scott Morrison, former Prime Minister of Australia. Guess whose name is in Jeffrey Epstein's black book, not on the Lowly the Express, but in his black book. Someone named Megan Markle. <laughs> Wait, what? why would Megan, little Megan, freckled face Markle be in Jeffrey Epstein's black book? She says, I don't know. Okay. Naomi Campbell, the black model whose boyfriend, Built Epstein Island and built the guest houses. Naomi Campbell has a house in the Caribbean in the form of the Eye of Ra, the eye on the top of the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill. Look it up on Google Images. Naomi Campbell's house in the Eye of Lucifer, shaped in the Eye of Lucifer, okay? See, Whitney Houston knew about Clyde Davis's pedophilia. That's why they took her out. She won it. Whitney won it. Woo! 
Ooh, and Megan is a he, okay? <laughs> you see, Whitney, just like Sam Cooke, wanted the rights to her music. And these devils like Clyde Davis, okay, they give you a few dollars, give you some jewelry and a little house and a car, okay? And when you die, they take that. Jeffrey Katzenberg, DreamWorks, his name is on the Lolita Express. David Geffen, his name is on the Lolita Express. Oh, Pastor Gabriel, oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to say something, Pastor, oh, my, Pastor Gabriella, oh, my God. Pope Francis, look at my face. <laughs> Pope Francis' name was not just in Jeffrey Epstein's book, but Pope Francis' name is on the up-to-date Lolita Express flight. Man, why, wait a minute, why would... The Pope of the Papa of the Global Vatican Order, why would his name be on the flight manifest? That's why he's dead. Pharaoh Williams, too, Pastor Colleen. Okay. Happy, happy. Oh, these are Robert De Niro, Richard Gere, Joe Biden, Bo Biden, Hunter Biden, John McCain. Oh, he died of cancer. No, he was liquidated. Okay? He was liquidated. <laughs> oh, oh, my, this up to date. I'm going to send this to Pastor Sam and Pastor Colleen, okay? Mick Romney. Now, his name was not even made mention as far as being in Epstein's black book. And also on Epstein's flight, Epstein was a devil, was a devil. He was keeping the names of politicians and celebrities and billionaires and millionaires to blackmail them. Mitt Romney ran for president 500 times and lost. Was on the Lolita, Lolita flight <laughs> manifest. Britney Spears, okay? From the Mickey Mouse Club. Now she's met Robert Downey Jr. Dwayne Johnson when he was a wrestler. That's why Johnson's going down. He's got lawsuits from the Wazooza, from all these women. James Franco, all of that stuff is coming down, okay? George Clooney, Adam Sandler, Nicolas Cage. Ashton Kutcher, Charlie Sheen, <laughs> Celine Dion, Don Sweet T. Lemon, okay? Rachel Maddow, her name was not just in the black book of Jeffrey Epstein. Why would Rachel Maddow's, Mad Cow Maddow's name be on the flight manifest of one Jeffrey Epstein? Kamala Harris, when she was, listen, <laughs> before she was senator, she was the district attorney of San Francisco. Her name is on the flight manifest, Kamala, okay? Whose real name is Ken, okay? Let, 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 me, let me get off of that. Elizabeth Warren, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, do you understand, listen, this is not a conspiracy theory. This is madness. And they're trying to pull Trump and Trump has nothing to do with that. Everyone knew Jeffrey Epstein. Just because you took a picture with it doesn't mean anything, okay? So they can't prove it because, listen, Trump was never on those flights. Ludacris too, okay? <laughs> Oh, my God. Bernie, Sa Bernie Sanders. Oh, Lord. Jimmy Kimmel. Remember his name, Pastor Sam? Who was the wrestler that exposed, I believe, Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel, why is your name on the flight manifest of the Lolita Express? <laughs> oh, Photoshop. Oh, my God. Pastor Ewing. Pa Pastor. <laughs> I think I. 
I think Pastor saying sent me. I mean, Pastor Sam sent me. Photoshop pictures. So was that Pastor Sam? Pastor Sam sent me. Someone set up, created this Photoshop picture of Trump on a couch with women with an Epstein. And one of the woman's arms was like 30 feet long. And Epstein had no legs. And you know why? It was photoshopped. <laughs> Laura Westerman. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. Rick Ross. Alec Baldwin. Okay. They said, we're not controlling you, Alec, because you murdered a girl on the set of your new movie because she knew about your mess, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> you see, but he's not talking about Trump anymore. You see? Alec Baldwin, William Baldwin, Jack Nicholson, Will Smith, Bruce Willis, Demi Moore, Martin Scorsese. Do you understand? Angela Merkel. <laughs> Angela Merkel, former chancellor of Germany, arrested and executed. This is documented. It, this, this is not something from a fly-by-night fly -by conspiracy channel or website. Oh, my Lord. Emmanuel Markin. John B Delay Maxwell, we know about her. Marina Abramovich, oh my God. She, listen, who is really the brother of Delay Maxwell. Angelina Jolie, I, I got a, someone sent me an email yesterday telling me that she died. I don't know if that's true or not. It's, it's a man, that's it. Do you know Anne Hathaway? <laughs> I was told by my contact, I told Pastor Sam, I sent Pastor Sam a link. Anne Hathaway <laughs> is a man. Now, people who listen to this, they think we're crazy. Okay. Bishop is of Q. I'm not of Q. Listen to me. I am not of Q. I have nothing to do with Q or the Q movement. Okay, Anne Hathaway is a man. Oh, Bishop, she looks good. You see, this is how demons do optical illusion. Okay, Keanu Reeves had exposed some years ago on a YouTube video. He said this about Marina Abramovich. A Anthony Bourdain was on the list too. Okay, Pastor Emily. That's why they, they took him out, okay? Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Matt Hathaway. <laughs> Orlando Jones. Oh, Lord have mercy. Orlando Jones is talk, you see? Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay? Who is the actor? Oh, Lord have mercy. Do you understand? Okay. Oh, my God. Do you understand, okay, how deep this is, okay? I was told a few days ago, okay, actually, last weekend, okay, I was told that the African-American, um, what's his name, Lance Riddick, we're told that Lance Riddick was liquidated. Tom Cruise, okay? Lance Riddick, the autopsy said that he had a heart condition. His wife said that's a lie. Lance Riddick knows that most of the cast of John Wick 4 their names is on the flight manifest of the Lolita Express. That's why they took out Lance Riddick because his last video, he knew he was going to die. Thank you, everyone. That is the end today after two hours, 54 minutes and 
45 seconds. Would your minds blow? Put up those faces. Oh, Lord have mercy. Bloodlines going back to Nebet, all the way up to the Epstein bloodline. They're not Hebrews. They're not Jews. They are of the bloodline of the Chaldeans. Twitch to they murdered him because what he was about ready to expose, okay? About little Ellen Degenerate. You notice Ellen Degenerate, Degenerate show, the background on the stage is St. James Island. Why is that? Now, I'm told Viola Davis is a good person, okay? And I met one of her agents last year. Uh, and an event in Beverly Hills, okay? So she's not a part, as far as I know, what I'm told, she's not a part of any of this mess. I like her. I hope she stays clean, okay? Can you imagine? Oh, listen. LeBron James, Ben Affleck, Bill Murray, Courtney Love, Jim Carrey, John Cusack, John John Legend, his wife, Lynn Forrester, D. Rothschild, Seth Green, Sean Carter Gazy, Stephen Tyler, Will Ferrell, Woody Allen, Sadiq Khan, Matt Hancock, Tony Blair, Richard Branson, Virgin Airlines, Leo Eric Varadkar. Prime Minister, former Prime Minister of Ireland, David Cameron, Lord Hammer, Jordana Brewster. Wait a minute, I thought she's in the movie, Bishop. Upcoming, The Fast and the Furious 10. That's not Jordana. <laughs> President Trump was not playing, okay? Operation Warp Speed, okay? I'm worried too. You know what, Pastor Dana, and I shared this with you guys. I was invited by someone through my publicist, not just last year, but this year, someone was willing to pay $150,000 for Bishop to go to the Met Gala event, the Holy Spirit said no. I didn't even have to think about it, okay? Why? No, 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 no. Just like I got an invitation to attend <laughs> Biden's, <laughs> oh my God, the media banquet that they have every year, the, media, the correspondence dinner, I said no. Why me? I'm told because Biden is watching me. Okay? The movie Eyes Wide Shut, that's the Met Gala. I said, no. Michael Jordan's father was taken out. You know why? Because Michael Jordan owed the mafia out of Chicago called the Outfit millions of dollars. So they said, listen, you're nothing but a N-I-double-G-E. Okay, I got to be careful. That's what the system said. We want our money. So Michael Jordan thought he was bigger oh Lord, than his debts. These two teenage boys who are set to get out next year did not take out his father. They took out his father's tongue, his eyes. They cut off his ears, his fingers, his toes. Those two teenagers, did, that's a mafia hit. Okay? Oh, Lord. Helen Hunt, <laughs> Calista Flock, Flockhart, the, the ex-wife. Oh, what's his name? Oh, what's the actor's name who played on, uh, oh, God, what's his name? He played, on, he played president on Air Force One, Harrison Ford, okay? DiCaprio, their name, all these names, okay? McConaughey, Leo DiCaprio, okay? Some way, somehow, John Denver, the late singer John Denver, his name was in the Black Book 
Oh, Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, my God. Thank you. And you know what? Don't be surprised if it's all rigged KHTV. So the reason why Black Hollywood was scared of Jeffrey Epstein, Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, Wesley Snipes, all that weight he's losing, okay? We're in the Masonic apron at last year's uh, Academy Award because I was there. I saw it. Wesley Snipes, Will Smith, Chris Rock. 60% of Black Hollywood was connected to Jeffrey Epstein, including Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. OJ's, oh my God, that's enough. I'm going to have to do a series on OJ. And that the Columbia Mafia assassins took her out. Not just he, OJ was not paying drug money, but his ex-wife. See, that was a message to OJ. Okay, Phil Collins. Okay. Magic Johnson never had HIV. Stop. You know why he had to come up with that? He slept with an underage girl who was the daughter of a high-level executive at Sony Music. The LAPD was after Magic, so they made up a lie. Oh, he's got HIV. Okay. Sunshine on my son. <laughs> oh, this is deep. And it gets deep. I only gave you about 40%. Oh, my God. Was your mind blown tonight? Charlie Sheen, HIV. Was your mind blown? Put up, your, put up those faces if your minds were blown tonight. Jeffrey Epstein. A Luciferian project completed, and I thank you. And little Anderson Cooper 360, okay? Edgar Brothman Jr., the Brothman family, Miranda Brooks. I'm looking at it right here. Chris Brown? James Bruce? James and Lucinda Bruce? Oh, my God. Tom Cruise, Oliver Stone, Jimmy and Jane Buffett. Lord have mercy. This is sick, man. This whole system is coming down. You have got to share this series on concerning this Mossad agent, with I believe he's not dead, he's alive. Someone was withdrawing money out of Epstein's account six months ago. If he's supposed to be dead, why is his account still open? Okay. And the, and the reason why, look, look at this the black gay mafia, P. Diddy. Okay, 50 Cent says he's not in it, but he's in it. Guess whose name was also on the flight manifest of the Lolita Express, Eminem. Eminem. And guess who was exposing this? Nipsey Hussle. Then they take him. See, the system... Ladies and gentlemen, the system is going down, okay? Casey Karen, Ben Affleck, Ben, listen, Bill Murray, Chris Tucker, Chris Wagner, Kevin Spacey, Larry, I'm looking at the list. Gazy, Seth Green, Woody Allen. President Trump's Operation Ward Speed was to take these demons out. That's why they don't want when oh Lord have mercy. Album Brag. <laughs> album Album the Chipmunk Brag was blackmailed 
into filing charges against President Trump. You know why? Because George Soros pulled half of his money from the Alvin the Chipmunk Bragg campaign when he was running for district attorney of Manhattan because Alvin Bragg has sexually assaulted a woman in an elevator at, at the Astor Hotel in New York. So that's why he took the case because these demons had blackmailed Alvin the Chipmunk Bragg, <laughs> okay? Operation Ward Speed has not ended. Thank you, everyone, for being with the Bishop Marja One, Volume One, Minds Blown. Okay. <laughs> Craze <laughs> for Eclipse, fun for the whole family. Thank you for being with the Bishop today. All of the moderators, please put up the PayPal link. This is called receipts. Okay. And then I cross-referenced the list that I had to the list that Pastor Sam, thank you, Pastor Sam. See, P. Diddy was sleeping with Usher. Was sleeping, not just with Usher, Eminem. Nick Cannon. But breaking parties, naked basketball games. The Black Mafia is an initiation the secret society that if you intend to be anything here in Hollywood, but the devil, I'm not going to butt break you, but no, that's why they're so afraid of me. When I go on the red carpet, listen, I, when I walk on the red carpet, demons fall over. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. P. Diddy was exposed by Eric Bishop, Jamie Foxx, who was also at those parties. PayPal.me, okay? Please, right now, take this. I don't, I don't like to call it mice or mouse. Take this or your finger, whether you have a desktop, laptop, okay? And Jory, um, Chrome tablet, Apple tablet, Android phone, iPhone, or Apple Watch. All of, of the moderators, thank you so much. Right beside Pastor to Witness, right beside Pastor Sam's name. And I will, ladies and gentlemen, type in the PayPal link now. You don't need a PayPal account. Just click on paypal.me. There it goes under Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group with black letters with, with a yellow or gold background. Click on that link. Take this or your finger right beside true witness name, Pastor Sam's name, okay? All right. Uh, also, uh, right under Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, uh, right beside Pastor Colleen's name. When you click on the PayPal link, after you click on the PayPal link, then click send. Don't click request, click send. Thank you, Pastor Rick Remington. Plant the Lord's tithe. It's not your money. Don't tell me it's not your, it's God's. The earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. God has blessed you with great jobs, great careers. Plant the Lord's tithe. Smash that like button, okay? Ooh, I believe anything you say about Nick Cannon. 11 kids, eight different women. You see, Nick Cannon, when he first exposed the Rothschilds, it was a year or two ago, then, listen, Viacom fired him, and here comes Nick Cannon, I'm sorry, running back on the plantation, okay? Oh, not me. Oh, no. I don't work for Viacom. I don't work for CBS. I don't work for the Crack News Network. I don't work for NBC or MSNBC. I don't work for Fox. I work for God. Okay, he's on his truck. <laughs> he's, he's on his truck. Oh, Lord have mercy. These are fools, but broken, Pastor Sam. Right beside Pastor Colleen's name. After you click, come on, you should be like popcorn. Now, don't, don't be spectators. Don't sit on the sidelines, clap, and not, not 
plant anything. I almost said the word so. Don't we don't ever use the word so because the term so is the name of a female hog or pig. Plant the Lord's tithe. If your gross is 3,000, the Lord's tithe is 300. If it's 2,000, the Lord's tithe is 200. If your gross is a, is a thousand, the Lord's tithe is 100. Also, you can go to our cash app. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. And our cash app link, ladies and gentlemen, is dollar sign Global Revolution One. Dollar sign Global Revolution One. Okay. Please don't leave us live, listeners. Okay. Uh, listen, PayPal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. I'm going to be on the Sasha Stone show on May 27th. Oh, Lord, have mercy. It is going to be mind wrecking. Okay. Also, I would be going on, um, oh, God, God willing, Lord willing, on Monday. <laughs> okay. On the view. And hopefully, pray. ABC is so scared. Because they don't know what I'm going to say about the charity, okay? And, and I told my staff, if they reschedule it one more time, tell them, don't call us anymore, okay? This goes back almost two years. Love you too, Pastor. Oh, Pastor Vera, love you. Love you, love you, love you, okay? But also, I'll be going on the Conan O'Brien podcast soon, okay? That, and we've already put that up. On um, Twitter, we'll put it up tonight on Facebook, okay? Also, I'm like, I got a little um, uh, tablet here, an Apple tablet, and my my staff back, back in New York says, okay, Bishop, wrap it up. You're getting tired, okay? I'll be going on the Conan O'Brien show pretty soon. And uh, so I'm excited. So God bless you. May heaven spy. And, you know, I don't know Sasha Stone, but he wants me on. And I prayed about it, okay? Oh, my bishop, I have, no, I have not lost my mind. I got my mind, okay? Listen, these people need the gospel, okay? Listen, I'm not one of these bishops, these individuals who are so afraid to go on these shows. No, I have not lost my mind, okay? Listen, I got my mind, but you see, JR, love you, but you don't understand my mantle. You see, if you don't understand my mantle, then don't question it, okay? I don't question anyone else's mantle, and I don't want them to be questioning mine, okay? Thank you, everyone. Listen, listen. Uh, listen, oh my God, Stephen Colbert's name is on the flight manifest, okay? Uh, also, I'll be, I'll be going on a BBC podcast out of Scotland in two weeks. Um, I am booked two years in advance, okay? Now, three years ago, two and a half, two and a half, three years ago, I was on some show every other day. Then I got sick, you remember that? And so the Lord said, okay, break it down, Bishop, maybe not one or two guest appearances a week, okay? My my mind belongs to Yeshua. Thank you, Pastor Varel, okay? So listen, people may not understand, understand my mantle. All right, paypal.me, let's, let's wrap this up. Continue to use wisdom, Bishop. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Um, let's wrap this up, paypal.me, all of the moderators. Please forgive me, um, but I have to sneeze. Forgive me, okay? <laughs> Forgive me. It is my my assignment. I have I have a radical mantle. Okay. Do not question this mantle. Thank you, Pastor Dana. Don't question it. If you don't understand it, just keep your mouth closed and say, Bishop, we're praying for you. Okay. Ooh, listen, I'm not trusting demons. Thank you, Pastor Colleen, okay? I, I'm bringing apostolic truth to light, to the masses, okay? That's my assignment. I've been recently uh, invited to go on a panel at Princeton University 
uh, the week after the 4th of July uh, with Dr. Cornell West, uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan. Okay, I've been invited to participate on a panel and I have accepted their invitation. Um, we're going to be talking about the state of Black America, okay? Thank you, everyone. All you got, love you too, Pastor Rosie. Woo, listen, I'm booked until 2025, until July 2025. My, I got a small staff here of, of 11 um, researchers, and we got a staff, small staff of 26 in New York, and they research. Only Sister Lisa takes care of my speaking engagements. She is scheduling me already for January 2026. So on a weekly basis, Pastor Colleen, and pray for me because sometimes I feel, oh my God, overwhelmed by all of these invitations. I get anywhere from 50 as high sometimes as 100 invitations to be on some radio show, podcasts, or online television symposium. Bishop, you, you are anointed to expose demons. Thank you, Pastor Rick, my son. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, okay? I trust God. All right, one more time before we close out tonight. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group, okay? The Durham, the Durham report is finished. And it is very damning against the FBI. I believe that the FBI has to be disbanded and absorbed into other uh, sections of the United States government. It is corrupt. It is partisan. And it's got, it's got to be broken up. Okay. And the Durham report took four years. Okay. Your staff has got your, thank you so much, Pastor Colin. You see, they got my back. Now, certain invitations, they said no. <laughs> that the correspondence dinner with Uncle Joe, no. I didn't even have to pray about it. They said no. The uh, meta event, the Met Gala, no. Okay. I was invited one out here in Santa Monica coming up next week, no. Okay. Nipsey was Solomon's bloodline. That is 100% right. No films. 1 million percent right. FBI, CIA, NSA, they all need to go down past the Emily because they're, they're so corrupted. Okay? Woo! Oh, my God. We're on a rocket ship trip right now, Bishop. <laughs> PayPal.me forward slash GSR. Was your minds blown concerning the bloodlines? Jeffrey Epstein was a Jewish. <laughs> he was Chaldean. When you go back, and this is where I tell Jewish scholars, they said, no, Bishop, uh, I was born in Tel Aviv. Okay, you were born in Tel Aviv, but where was your great, 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 great grandfather born? Not in Tel Aviv, Israel, not in Palestine, Turkey, Mongolia. You see? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you so much for being with the bishop tonight. And uh, I also want to announce I've been invited to go back uh, on Joe Osteen's, Show Osteen's podcast. And it actually is not him. It's his children that loves the teaching, okay? And I'm told they pester him about bringing me back. So I've been on his podcast twice. And the young people's group called Next Gen or Generation has invited me to go back, oh my God, on the podcast, okay? Woo! Look, I haven't lost, I got the mind of Christ. This, you see, Joe Ice. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Pastor Ewing, this is heavy. Okay, so I'll be going back on his broadcast. Mind blowing tonight. Thank you, everyone, for joining for this. It's going to be at least a three part series um, of Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. 
Um, get get me to Tuesday. I'll let you guys know. I I I need to go on vacation first. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, Pastor Chris Black, I don't, I don't know if you're there. I'm going to go to Vegas. Um. Pretty soon in June. Okay. Uh, and a lot of students, a lot of pastors want to meet me. So I'll be going to Vegas, and I'll announce that also on Tuesday, okay? And um, one of our students has a timeshare that I would pay less to nothing, okay? And so God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Dana. Our, our team, oh, my God, they blew it out of the water concerning the bloodlines of one Jeffrey Epstein, okay? You want to get to the money, get to the family, get to the bloodline that would take you to the family that would eventually take you to the money. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Get much needed rest. Thank you, uh, true witness. Thank you, apostle. I'm telling you. And uh, after my Vegas trip, then I'm leaving the country. Pastor Sam, do I need to go for one week or two weeks? Pastor Colleen. I'll probably need to go for two weeks because I am exhausted. And people think, you see, people think, okay, this is easy. What I'm doing, it's not easy. Pastor Ewing, I am so tired, Pastor Ewing, Pastor Dana, after I teach. Now, I, I've asked a lot of the students, should I cut it down to just an hour? They say, no, Bishop, don't do that. So they don't want an hour. Okay, so uh, two weeks. Okay, so after my Vegas trip, I'm going to leave the country uh, to go, you know, to my vacation home. I'm not going to tell you where it is for two weeks. You know, uh, you know, Pastor Renee, one of my other staff members, and also a good friend of mine, a pastor friend of mine, besides this staff member, a uh, pastor friend of mine out of Rome. I talked to him like once a week. He's a part of the Christ Embassy uh, churches. He said, Bishop, you need a month off. I said, I can't do that. He said, Bishop, let me say it again. You need a month off. A month off. I said, I can't do that. He said, let, Bishop, hear me. You need a month off. So I'm not going to do that. But two weeks at the most. God bless you. Uh, I'm going to use wisdom to decide this, Pastor Sam. All right. PayPal.me forward slash GSR Media Group. Uh, these buck breaking devils of the black gay mafia, P. Diddy, Jamie Foxx, Eric Bishop, okay? Snoop Dogg Demon, they all sleeping with each other. All that stuff is coming down, including Gay Z, okay? I've got the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said. There's no fear in me, Pastor Charity, okay? That's the mark of a true apostle of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. God is massively exposing this mess, Pastor uh, Rick, my son. Thank you. Take three weeks. I've been told that as well. Oh, deliver a message from your destination. I'm going to do some peek-ins, not just from Vegas, but for my holiday. I'm going to do those peek-ins. You guys remember the last peek-in for my last vacation? near a beach, at a beach, at an undisclosed location. I speak true so they can take me from, uh, see, we got to take people from this misery, Pastor James. Okay. I'm not a milk toast bishop riding gravy trains with biscuit wheels. I am not that type of, of an apostle. I expose the synagogues of Satan. I'm not talking about blacks. I'm not talking about Jews. Or, I'm just talking about demons. Watch out. Thank you. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Pray for me. I have to cover one event tomorrow representing the iHeart Media Group, um, a red carpet event, and maybe a second one as well. Maybe. So God bless you. One more time, paypal.me forward slash GSR Media Group. Patriots, get excited. President Trump will be elected, okay? Actually, he never lost. Pastor Sheffrin, God bless you. Love you, my daughter. Love your name. Beautiful name. Pastor Charity, love you so much. And uh, God willing, 
I'll be going to New York City, uh, God willing, either this Sunday or Monday, more likely Sunday, um, unless the, the Lord tells me to hold off for another week. The powers of be at iHeart want me to come back to do one or two or three shows. God bless you. And I do miss New York City as well. But my home here now is Los Angeles. And my second home now is in New York. God bless you. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. PayPal.me forward slash GS or Arminagu. Go to our cash app, dollar sign Global Revolution 1. Send your checks and money orders to Bishop Larry Gators, P.O. Box 161, Lomina, California, 90717. Okay. Bishop Larry Gators, um, P.O. Box 161, Lomita, California, 90717, 90717. Now, when you're sending your money orders, please use a post office money order alone. Not Walmart, not Taurus or us or whatever. Just use a post office money order, okay? Woo! Roseanne Barr, she, that's right. I call her mom, my political mother. I got her on speed dial, okay? I've been on her podcast many times. God bless you. J, uh, sorry, DJT never lost pa Pastor Dana. Great to see you, Pastor Carmen. God bless you. Give my love to your beautiful mother. We're praying. Mama and I love you. I love, tell mama I love you and lo and love her and tell your mom I love her daughter. Love you too. One day I'll, we'll get to meet and break bread and have the lunch or dinner. God bless you. Oh my God. God bless you. I miss New York City too. We do. And um, even though Los Angeles is my home, but I miss New York City as well. We'll see you guys on uh, Tuesday. Have a great weekend and I'll see you Tuesday. Share these teachings, share them on Telegram, Gab, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Follow John Wick on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. Uh, one of our pastors in Detroit, Pastor Sean Lewis, he has designed a, I believe, a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok page for the Bishop's videos, Okay. He's a great man of God, great son of mine. I got to call him tomorrow. Thank you for your patience, Pastor Sean. Um, so go to Instagram and just at Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. This is the most exciting time to be alive. My, this is the most exciting time to be alive, Pastor Rick, right now. At Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. Also, um, go to our Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Bishop L Gators at Bishop L Gators. Uh, on my Facebook handle, facebook.com forward slash Bishop L Gators, Bishop L Gators. Okay. Also join our Facebook group page, which is Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, or just put in Global Spiritual Revolution on Facebook. Okay. Uh, last but never least, um, my staff talked me into. Uh, you know, for them, they wanted me to create a TikTok page. So that's mostly for the young people, okay? It's at Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. God bless you and um, already share. Thank you so much, Pastor Dana. You guys have my permission to share this teaching. Don't alter it. God bless you. Uh, God bless you. And we will see you guys uh, on Tuesday, okay? Uh, any videos out there about the Kobe Bryant si series, we have already given podcasters the permission to do a documentary. And they always say, we thank God for Bishop Gators because this came from God through Bishop Gators. God bless you. If you want to do something like that, get my permission. Get our permission. God bless you. All right. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. And Pastor Sam, I have lost 20 pounds in one month. That's good. I can still see my shoes when I stand. God bless you. See you Tuesday for module two, volume two of Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. And I thank you.
Have a great weekend. The bishop is in love with you. Don't think it's strange when I say I'm in love with you. It means I love you as Christ loves you. I don't care what color you are. We are of the family of Yeshua the Christ. Smash that like button. Thank you, Pastor Demi. And we'll see you guys on next Tuesday. Have a great weekend in Christ's holy name. The bishop loves you. Plant the Lord's tithe and plant $100, $200, $500. Plant right now. Thank God for Pastor Chris Harris, one of our powerful student pastors from Long Beach, California. He faithfully gives. That's why he's so blessed, okay? I don't care if it's $200, $300, $500, three of you give a 1000 the rest of you give your best. I love you so very much. God bless you. I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend in Christ. Okay? I, you know what? I'm going to get that, Pastor Sam. I got to get that. And I got to get it put in my home here in Los Angeles. I need to do that. I got a gym membership. I'm paying $45 a month, and I'm not even going. That's wasting money, okay? So I'm going to do that. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Cole. Pa God bless you, Pastor Rosie. And if you guys got an idea of what Bishop should be teaching, you know, uh, let us know on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. Let us know, okay? Um, I had not heard from Brother Scott. I have not heard from Brother Scott. It's been a while. I think the last time I was on his show last summer, okay? You guys remember the first time I was on Scott's show? Was that two years ago on a... Um, I think it was about two years ago. Oh, my God. That was such a mind-blowing interview. God bless you. I'll see you guys now. And we got so many invitations from big-time radio shows, podcasts, The View upcoming. Hopefully, they don't reschedule it. Okay. Uh, the Conan O'Brien podcast. God bless you. And um, pray for me. God bless you. JFK, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go through that again, Pastor Sam. JFK, oh my God, the greatest global cover-up in history. God bless you. I'll see you Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. The bishop loves you. Good night.